have heard many of the institutions saying that okay, uh, job opportunities for freshers uh, are very minimal, are very low. And what they do is they blame industries for this. And on the other hand, industry officials say that we have a lot of opportunities, but the type of uh, students coming to us don't meet our requirements. It's a very sad state of affairs. So they say there's a skill gap. In fact, our organization, uh, Board of Apprenticeship Training, uh, is trying to uh, bridge this gap. In fact, uh, like we uh, provide apprenticeship training opportunities for around uh, 1.2 lakh uh, uh, pass-outs uh, every year. And, but we are not satisfied with this. Uh, we cover around 25,000 uh, companies. But India like, has a lot of opportunities. They have lakhs of companies, uh, lakhs of students passing out every year. So uh, recently we had a, a conference in which it was decided that, OK, in next three, four years, uh, instead of 1.2 lakhs, uh, we'll be providing this opportunity to at least 6 lakh uh, fresh pass out. So almost uh, more than four times. Then we are targeting to cover more than 1 lakh industries in next three, four years. So I think uh, then the benefit will reach to a more number of uh, candidates. Uh, I have a quote actually, uh, I'll, I'll just uh, read a quote uh, uh, from, uh, yeah, this is by Robert M. Uh, Hutchins. Uh, he was an American educational philosopher. Uh, he was also a dean of uh, Yale Law School and he, he also uh, had been president and chancellor of the University of Chicago. So he once said, the object of education is to prepare the young to educate themselves throughout their life. So I just stress, to educate themselves throughout their lives. So I don't know whether this is happening, I don't know in foreign countries, but in India I think uh, many of the institutions lack, this, uh, lack on this. Uh, I've heard in uh, Gurukul times, uh, this was happening, like Madam also was uh, stressing on now holistic, uh, holistic education. So, but nowadays I feel like many of the institutions are lacking this. Uh, so, like educational institutions provide a uh, lot of things. They provide, uh, say, technical education, technological development, uh, knowledge and all. Uh, they may provide uh, input on productivity, quality, cost, uh, uh, delivery and all. But what about morale? What about ethics? What about social aspects? In fact, like many of the, when I interact with many of the industry officials, they say like uh, the youngsters coming, like some, some of them, do, they don't behave properly. So <laughs> how an education system is corrected? So like it's a two-way thing. Like if you expect a job from industry, so industry expects, uh, similarly industry expects a lot of things from you. So, be careful, like when you uh, are able to enter, enter an industry, so perform well, uh, so that your, uh, what do you call, supervisors, your, uh, your seniors are happy with you. And believe me, uh, nowadays, like, industries also are facing a lot of problems, like they are not getting good people. So if you prove that you are good, no industry will want to leave you. So it, it should be uh, beneficial uh, at both the ends. Uh, then again, uh, one more quote from Helen Keller. So she once said, uh, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. So we have industry officials, we have institutions. So why not uh, join hands, why not uh, work for some uh, joint collaboration, uh, maybe on research, innovation, maybe on training of manpower. So there can be what you call exchange of uh, faculties. So industry officials come, can come as just faculty in institutions. Similarly, like faculties from institutions can go to industry. And then like they can be a good knowledge sharing uh, platform and both can benefit uh, out of this. Even academic curriculum. So many of the industries say that, okay, whatever is uh, being taught in institutions, don't match their requirements. So why not interact with the industry, involve them, so, okay, like university decides on uh, curriculum, decides on uh, academic part, uh, but again, uh, like institution can uh, add on to it. They can take industry input and uh, some of the things which really industry requires, so can be put as uh, additional uh, items in the uh, curriculum.
So a lot, lot of things are possible uh, for betterment uh, of the uh, uh, students' uh, study. Uh, then again, uh, uh, one more uh, quote uh, from uh, William Hazlitt. So uh, he once said, uh, if you think you can win, you can. In fact, I remember one of the speakers also said on this. So if you uh, think you can win, you can. Faith is necessary for victory. I think all of us today have gathered here with good faith and uh, we uh, all have confidence in ourselves. So let us work together and create a win-win situation for uh, everyone. So with this, uh, I uh, wish a great success to this conference. Thank you. Thank you all.